Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I found this large TV and computer monitor on garbage day this week. People are getting rid of the old models. And the nice thing about these is these are loaded with copper. They've got nice big copper yokes as well as some copper cable around the monitor. And the beauty as well is they are 100% scrappable material. After I remove the copper yokes inside of that, as well as the other items, I can still bring the rest of this in and get e-waste price at a scrapyard. So they are 100% scrappable, uh, which is awesome for the landfill and the environment. Very easy to do. So what I'm going to do today is open them up, show you where the goodies are, how to separate them properly, and more importantly, maximize your profit and divert all of these away from the landfill. So here we go. First thing, for the sake of time, I have removed the uh, backing. I will first remove the goodies and then I will just close it back up. This monitor actually in its entirety weighs uh, 35 pounds. This large TV actually weighs 65 pounds. So e-waste price right now is about five cents a pound in uh, London, Ontario. So a good price. I have seen five to seven, so depends on your scrap yard. But as you can see inside of that, Right here is a beautiful copper yoke, as well as a cable around this. This copper yoke does have number two copper, and currently number two copper is going for $4.80 a pound. So a great price and a great item to uh, retrieve before you bring this in. Uh, the first thing you do have to make sure you do, however, before you play with this uh, monitor, as well as these TV, there is always going to be a large uh, pink cable or red cable that goes from the circuit board to the um, glass piece. You do have to make sure you cut that. Um, if you don't, you could get a uh, potential shock. So very easy, just snip it. Now there is no charge and it's safe to handle. First thing I'm gonna do actually is just remove the top of this. I've already just cut the cable uh, you can see the cable connects to it. There is a small circuit board in here that I want to look at as well as pull the top off. So I'm just going to actually open this up. There are some screws, um, but there is a small circuit board in here that I'm going to look at and see if there's any goodies inside. I can already see some heat sinks, um, but these heat sinks, if I look at them, Put a magnet to them. Magnet, magnet, there it is. These heat sinks are magnetic. Um, you do want to check some heat sinks. A lot of them are aluminum. So if these were aluminum, I would actually take these off and put them into my aluminum, which is going for about 50 cents a pound. Because these are metal, I'm just going to leave these on here. I'm also going to leave this shell on here. And I'm actually going to throw this into my tin. If I was to leave this uh, circuit board, I'd get five cents a pound for the e-waste. But because tin prices right now are at a great price, this whole thing is gonna go into tin and I'm gonna get 10 to 11 cents a pound for this. So way better in that respect. I do wanna make sure I cut off these cords, the rest of these cords. These cables are gonna go into 60% um, copper recovery. I'm looking inside. These are copper, I can see them. and. Currently right now, 60% appliance wire is going for um, $2.74 a pound. So the rule is there are two categories. You have your 60% copper recovery appliance wire and 40%. What a scrapyard looks at is copper to plastic ratio and copper recovery. Because these are single um, cables that have one coating of plastic or uh, coating, there's more copper, so more copper recovery. So $2.74 a pound for these. This wire, this is different. This wire is your connector wire that goes from the monitor to your um, tower. These things are not uh, gonna go into that category. I do love these because you can see the gold prongs in there and I will have a separate video showing how to remove those prongs. But this wire, and I actually have a piece torn here. You can see inside there is some uh, out metallic casing. That is going to be aluminum. I've scratched it, there is no copper. Sometimes it will be copper 
inside if you have metallic look, if you scratch it, but these are gonna be called electronic wire and it's going in a category of low grade wire. Uh, it's still worth something. Currently, these wires are going for 90 cents a pound, so better than nothing and a great price, but just you don't wanna throw these into your copper appliance wire because you will be downgraded. Um, so this is electronic wire. Uh, very simple, as I said, to recognize if you open it up, you can see the wires in the middle and there's always going to be a uh, metallic casing around it. So low grade wire, but still, this is very heavy. There's about a pound here. Uh, going to get to the yoke here. There's always going to be a couple screws or uh, bolts and I do have to just quickly take those off. I have seen some people break the glass. You do not have to break the glass. These yolks will come off very easily. Um, again, I'm just gonna have to unscrew a couple uh, bolts. There's a couple clamps. So just bear with me. Sometimes they are a little stuck, uh, depending on how much gunk is on them. But it takes a couple seconds to get them out just to open it. And once you have these removed, there it is. I'm gonna open that. You're gonna put safety glasses on as well because you do always have some plastic um, connectors here. Sometimes these need to be cut. Sometimes they will slide off, but these ones will not. So I'm just gonna cut the plastic here, um, get these off. They're very easy to do, obviously, just with a pair of uh, pliers or side cutters. But you do have to remove these in order to slide this up. Come on. That's why I also wear glasses. There you go, I just got one right in the face, so definitely a great idea to have eye protector on. Okay, but there we go. Okay, sometimes they're easier than others. Obviously, sometimes, depending on the model, just going to take a screwdriver, Pry it up, there we go. Connector, gone, two of them, sometimes more. So I guess there is just a teeny bit of plastic, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna just twist this box, there you go. And you can see the yolks are very easy to come off, but again, this plastic is difficult sometimes, as I said have to cut them, but it's definitely worth its weight in copper. All right, there's the last one there. I'm gonna just pull this up now. There we go, getting the last two. There, now slide up, there you go. Just gonna cut this cord, make sure I have access for the whole thing. And these yokes, again, they're connected to some more wire, but look at that copper inside that yoke. Very easy to take it out. It does have a magnetic casing around it. As you can see, there is magnetic. So that's just gonna have, you want to make sure you break that off. Very easy. If I take this cap off, you're also gonna see a circuit board with a spool of copper. And I'm not gonna remove this whole thing, but just gonna quickly show you how easy it is to break this. This is where I have my safety glasses on and I get to do a little smashy smashy. So there you go, just hit it a couple times with a hammer. There's some nice copper inside of it and that's all I'm gonna do to break that. The metallic casing, I'm gonna throw it into my tin shred as well as my circuit board. This little one I am gonna throw in my e-waste as well as the cables. I'm gonna take these and put them into my, um, if it's copper, definitely my 60% appliance wire. But a little bit of plastic here, unfortunately, is gonna to go to the garbage, but some great number two copper. The next thing I wanna look at is this wire or gauze around it. Some of these do not have them. Some TVs, my dad, um, shout out to my dad, I love the guy, but he has said he has still not found any of these, but here's proof that this one has one. And this is also gonna be number two copper. 
Um, if you check it, I'm just going to take it off. It does have zip ties connected to it. And you do want to make sure when you take this, I'm just going to open it up, circuit board, take it out so I can access it. Cut the wires. Beautiful circuit board I'm looking at right now. But this wire here, just last zip tie I need to connect or take off. This is your degaussing cable. And these, you do have to cut them open. Really nice ring around here. But in order to make sure that this is copper, you do have to cut it. So I just cut it there. And I have to look inside of it. As you can see, this is copper. So this is going to be number two copper. I do want to remove this. If I brought this in as is, I'm going to get my 60% appliance wire. But very easy to take this uh, degaussing wire off or tape off. Uh, I have actually seen some people just unravel it, but very easy just taking a knife and sliding down it, peeling off the copper. This again is going to be number two copper, so way better than your 60% appliance wire and very easy to do. Some of them, however, this is another example that I have from a different TV. This one, I cut it open, and as you can see inside, it is metallic looking. So there is your difference. This one is actually aluminum wire. So you cannot put them in the same category. This, if it is aluminum, I have put it into low-grade wire, um, which is good. This isn't a pound, it's very light, but the other option is because they will take the rest of this TV, you can just leave it on the TV uh, and bring it in as e-waste. Um, but uh, again, I guess for the 90 cents a pound, this is going to be better putting it into your low-grade wire. But you definitely need to make sure you check the difference. Okay, the rest of this TV or monitor, sorry, I'm going to leave intact the circuit board. I am going to look at the circuit board. You can see right here, I take my magnet. These... Heat sinks are aluminum, so I want to take those off. As well, you do see right here some beautiful copper windings. I do remove those as well. I'm going to take those, unravel it, take that as number two copper. Um, this, again, this is a nice piece of aluminum as well. Heat sink here. Um, going to be clean aluminum. So there is a difference between these two. This one is going to be clean aluminum. These two are going to be called extrusion. Uh, an extrusion is a form of aluminum that looks like it's been put through a mold or a press. Heat sinks, I do have a separate video on that. Great source of extrusion. And currently, extrusion right now is going for $1.53 a pound in London, Ontario. So way better than your clean aluminum at 50 to 60 cents a pound. So you definitely want to make sure you separate them. And you will get pounds of extrusion just off of circuit boards. Uh, some of the old or newer TVs, sorry, the flat screens, have a huge uh, extrusion aluminum piece there on the circuit board. So way better to put that into your extrusion than just aluminum. Uh, but there are also some transformers. Um, there is right here is going to be a relay box that has a little spool of copper. And for some people that like to micro scrap, there are some MLCCs. These orange guys here, there are a lot of them. Um, people do remove those, uh, especially after the old computers. They're going to be probably more value uh, with containing the palladium or palladium, palladium, sorry, palladium. There it is. Uh, but again, I don't remove all of them. I will just leave it as a circuit board and I will actually just put it right back on my TV like that. Close it up and bring it in as a whole and get the rest of it as e-waste price. Now, the TV, just like these, that's what I love about these monitors. They are very similar. Um, there's the backing, as you can see, large, large uh, piece of plastic that fell back there. But again, I'm going to close it up. There, again, uh, I do have to remove, and I haven't cut for the sake of this one yet, this cable. So I'm just going to do that first. There you go. The cable is cut, and I have a free, safe place to work. Just going to open that, pop the cap off again. Don't have to break it. This one, here you go. That just slid that off. And sometimes, as I said, if you just twist this, oh, there is one more bolt I do have to get. So have to get that first. Make sure you get all of them. What is that? 
I think it's just a screwdriver, but not sure. What's going on here? Oh, it is a screwdriver. Sorry, where it is? There it is. Just gonna grab my other one. Sometimes you gotta check what nut it is, but not gonna do this whole TV. Um, again, it's the same method, but this one as well just slides off as well. There you go, cut off my cable. And sometimes you'll see more of a red copper coated look. Again, this is all number two copper. Just gotta hit this with a hammer as well. And this one, the reason I'm showing this is because this doesn't have the black degaussie table or cable, but I am curious if I cut this. I've never actually seen a style like this, so dad, you might be right. If I cut it, just gonna look. Yes, so this is still your degaussie cable, but unfortunately, if I take it up to the camera, which I'm gonna do, it reveals, sadly, inside there is the copper, or would have been copper, but you can see the metallic look, so this is gonna be aluminum. So, gonna be, as I said, this too is gonna go into just a low-grade wire, uh, not copper, so you do have to separate it, but, uh, you know, it's still on the TV. This circuit board, a lot more basic. Just gonna take this, turn this over, and again, really nice piece. I leave the speakers on. I have seen people sell some speakers on eBay, uh, Kijiji, but this circuit board, a lot more basic. You have a copper spool there that I'm gonna take off. You can see the copper windings in that. There is, if I put a magnet to it, check. These are aluminum, so this is gonna be just clean aluminum. So there's one, two, three on there. Um, other than that, like I said, there's a red spool of copper there that I'm gonna take off as well, as well as a transformer here that has copper and some wire. This wire, this is your uh, TV wire that goes into the wall. Again, this appliance wire, this is going to be your 60% uh, wire. Uh, if I cut this, which I'm gonna do for this video, inside you see two wires. These have only one coating of plastic, so higher copper recovery. So this whole wire going to be put into as well my 60% appliance wire as is. So definitely make sure you separate it. There's definitely not a pound here, but it all adds up. And the rest of this, as I said, I'm just gonna put the cap back on, take off the aluminum here, but bring this into the scrapyard. Scrapyards will bring them to electronic depots. There is lead still in the glass and other components that they are able to grind up and reuse. So again, both of these, very good copper recovery, very easy to take apart. And the best thing about them, 100% scrappable material. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tim Man out.